Officers receive specialized training before they start careers in criminal justice. And as part of their continuing education, national experts in the field are at the Al Cannon Detention Center this week. Karina Bolster explains why the Charleston County Jail is considered to be one of the best in the southeast. A quick response. Start clearing it. Move. And quick action. Hit me right there. Is a skill needed to be on the special operations group at the Al Cannon Detention Center. All right, man. Good. That's why the Virginia-based U.S. Corrections Special Operations Group was on site at the center all week, training the group who they say leads the region when it comes to standards within the corrections system. The program is very unorthodox. It's, um, it's 21st century. Since 2008, they've been leading the way. A lot of agencies have come here to study the tactics, um, you know, in the, um, the progressive uh, tactics that they provide here. You want to be very careful as you're moving. Garcia says many agencies may train just once and then be done. He says what makes Al Cannon a leader across the country is the training they do every three months. Look around, make sure whatever you do, always be safe. It keeps them abreast of listening, you know, seeing uh, the, the situations or, or different um, uh, situations that will pop up. So it keeps them current. This is the gear that the SOG team wears here at the detention center on a daily basis. It's equipped with some of the top notch technology to keep the inmates in line if something were to happen. The inmates stay on the ground as we're moving. We have a less than lethal shotgun, which is the uh, KSG Caltech. Um, which holds 15 rounds, but is non-lethal non force. SOG also has a taser and spray on them at all times. They don't use excessive force unless it's an absolute last resort. Getting SOG on site even requires protocol. The officers would talk to the um, inmate first, then, then if the officer cannot get the inmate to, to um, do something, then the officer will call the sergeant. The sergeant would then call us. When something does happen, it's minimal impact to the rest of the facility, the rest of the officers, and the community. And, and that's really the, a win-win situation for everybody. In North Charleston. One, two, three. Oh! Karina Bolster, Live 5 News. The programs and training at the Al Cannon Detention Center focus on protecting officers, inmates, as well as those who live and work around the jail. The group realizes that some of these inmates will eventually be back on the streets. They want to try to prevent them from returning in the future.